This work was in collaboration with Cassandra Scherch and Professor Paddy Mize uh, from MIT Media Lab. Several psychological interventions have shown to improve the academic performance of young children and students. And a lot of these interventions uh, intend to educate them about growth mindset, which is the idea that intellectual ability can be developed over time. These interventions that exist already pose several challenges in practice because to be carried out properly, they require extensive training of the participating faculty, as well as extra effort to mitigate all the cognitive biases of the adults administering them. And this both limits their scalability and the su success rates. We have three main components uh, of our contribution, most specifically magic familiarity, pop cultural references, as well as neuroscience. All these three components were extensively studied in different interventions uh, when being applied uh, in academic uh, achievement. We have an artifact, in our case, it's a sorting head from Harry Potter. We have an EEG headset or electron encephalography headset that can pick up the brain activity. We obviously have a computer that uh, connects everything and uh, keeps all the algorithms running smoothly and connects to the EG headset via Bluetooth. We have a little Sphera robot which we use as a tangible uh, output of the system and we are also uh, added a speaker inside of the head so the head can actually talk to a child but only the child, only the Vera will be able to hear what it is being, uh, what is being told. So these are the main contributions, um, main components of uh, our system. This is a short video where you can see what the system looked like while the participant was using it. Um, they would wear it and control the Sphero robot with their brain signals. This is only a small glimpse of the results, more specifically the changes in mindset before and after the experiment. But we'd like to bring attention to the fact that the mindset scores for the full condition, which included the hat, the EEG headset, the feedback system, and the robot, was the highest among all four conditions. There are definitely several limitations and directions for the future work. We, however, were able to do a sequel study, Thinking Cap 2.0, where we have explored multiple universes, multiple sci-fi universes. And if you have any questions regarding the first or the second study, uh, please drop us a line.